Look, if you've ever tried to learn anything about trading on YouTube, you've probably seen some of these YouTube trading gurus. If you spot your favorite YouTuber there, ask yourself a simple question. Can you trust him and why? And leave it down in the comments and tell me what exactly do you like about his content. In this video, you will find out the results I found out. Who wants to teach you something and wants you to be a better trader? Who wants to make money off of you by selling you some courses and wasting your time with rented supercars and flashy houses and selling the trading lifestyle, but basically the only real trading experience they have is selling snake oil to you guys and whose videos are simply a waste of time. Two things, money and time. We only think about money here. We're gonna get our money right and we're gonna get it right, right. So come on in. We got some crypto trading here. Some news, of course, our news, European indices. Super amount of trading working for us. Obviously the face is classified. But right now we have the US markets open. European markets are just about to close. And basically this is the station. This is where we make the money. This is where the business happens in this office. So, if you want to learn how to do this, very straightforward. Buy my course, live like this. Let's see. And I just wanted to mention, at the end of this video, you will also find out about my dirty secrets. And behind me there, I will have my own finance illustrated ranking. Which category the trader belongs to, either educate, entertain, or avoid at all, and the snake oil ranking. So a snake oil ranking of zero means that's an honest trader. He just wants you to be a better trader by watching his videos and learning from him. And of course, the snake oil rating of five, that means that this uh, YouTube guru, all he wants to do is just get your money out of your pocket and into his. It's just full of <laughs> Essentially, selling an illusion about what trading is. There's gonna be facts, there's gonna be reasons why each trader fell into that particular ranking. And of course, I don't want anyone to feel offended. So in the end, it's just my opinion. You guys ready? You guys ready? Let's go. Hey, hey, what's up, my friends? Of course, it's none other than reviving your tail. And first of all, I really like this guy's videos. I think he's funny. I like his accent. Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? Hey, 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 what's up? What's up? So, welcome to the Here's the thing, right? Of course, the information he provides is also, it means something. I mean, 728,000 subscribers kind of tells you something. But when looking at his background, like looking at what is his own experience with trading. Well, in his own words, after the mandatory military service in Singapore, which you have to do if you're from Singapore, he studied at the University of London. And then he worked for a company called United Alliance Capital as a futures trader. So he says he's been trading for 11 years now. That's all cool, but I cannot prove that. Only Rainer himself knows the truth about it. But what made me trust him is that he's been posting consistently like the same type of trading video since 2013. Just explaining the basics like, like best forex entries, what is support and resistance, things along those lines. Very straightforward. I also respect the fact that he's tried to answer some of the criticisms about him. He's posted this video about like exposing himself. He literally took his shirt off to expose himself. But in that video, he's actually showing you the truth about him, like his history, what is his background, things along those lines. And also he has showed his real trading account with like almost like $300,000. But ironically, the link to that broker is missing. Usually in his videos, his face is somewhere down here or here. But in this video, put his face over the link. And of course, naturally, some of us, especially me, when I'm investigating these things, I would love to know what kind of broker this guy is using. Because personally, I can tell you straight up, I, I can pay like $2,000 to a web developer to basically write a simple code for a trading platform. And I could just enter whatever values I want, like 10 million, 100,000, whatever, and show it as my real trading account with proof of my trades and how much profits I made and things like that. It's very easy to do. So I was a bit bummed out that Rainer covered the link to this trading platform that he's using. Did he do that on purpose? Only he himself knows that. To be honest, I don't think anyone is paying Rainer to make these videos. It's not like doing paid promotions and advertising for some other people. I don't think that's the case. What it looks like to me is that he has created his own brand by presenting a lot of information for free here on YouTube and also his website. And then at the end of it, if you're up for it, you can sign up this Pro Traders Edge program that he has. It's priced at $49 and $99 a month. So one is the premium, one is the elite version. And you will get like the premium trading strategy guides, weekly trade alerts, uh, live Q&A sessions with him, 
something like that. Personally, I won't pay for it, I don't need it, but I like the fact that this product is not like shoved down your throat and is not presenting it in every video. It's like sort of a matter of fact thing next to his content, which he posts for free. So there won't be any pretty chicks here, no Lamborghinis, no Ferraris, just simple information about trading. And in the end, you can go to that members club if you're up for it. I don't think that's anything bad. So I will give Rainer a snake oil rating of one because of that broker link thing. And I'm gonna put him in the educational section. So the next guy I found is something in between a video editor, a wizard, a cardistry master, and somewhere along the lines also an investor. Of course, it's none other than Andre Jick. You see what I did there, Andre? Magician too. I cannot deny that Andre has some really cool videos. They're very well made, very great editing on them, actually funny and interesting. But should you learn from him? I don't think so. And that's because Andre is first and foremost a very good entertainer. He actually comes from a family of circus performers. I just found it somewhere. Sorry, Andre, if that's not true. So he's a great entertainer, but he's not sharing any like practical methods on how to start investing or how to learn investing or how to make money. He's basing it on his own experience. And what works for him might not work for you because he has a whole different life, you know, whole different story, how he even got to trading. How did he even get the money to get to trading? Also, while digging on the dark web, I actually found out how Andre made his money when he had only 100,000 subscribers. Now he has a million. So back then, how did he make money? Um, even better, how did I find it? Well, he said it himself on Reddit. So he made money with AdSense revenue, Patreon, Amazon affiliate store, some business of selling playing cards, dividend income investments, that's basically buying dividend, high dividend yield stocks, and then making money from those dividends, and then stock affiliate signups. This is not a paid or a promotional advertisement by Webull or anyone else because they're- So in essence, Andre's been making bank for a while. He's a financially clever guy who's gained a lot of success on YouTube. He knows how to sell the idea about financial independence and investing based on his own experience trading stocks since he was 19. Of course, you won't get any dumber watching these videos, that's for sure. I want to emphasize that they're very well made, but I don't think that you will find any practical methods to actually get you off the ground with investing. He's sharing his own experience. And also on Reddit, he said he's making money with paid promotions, but in some of his videos, he's saying that he's not affiliated with a certain platform. Now, maybe it was just that platform, but it smells a little bit like snake oil. So I will give Andre a rating of one, no offense. And I'm gonna put him in the entertainment category. You know what that smile says? I don't give a damn about what any of you say. I'm the youngest millionaire in Arizona. He's happy. He's making millions. I mean, look at him. His name's Ricky Gutierrez. Like four out of six of this guy's most popular videos is just straight up flexing. A day in the life with Arizona's youngest millionaire, the boring life of stock trading millionaire, how I became one of the youngest millionaires, all is just about millionaire, money, McLarens, Nissans, and the cool trading lifestyle. So without even looking at the rest of his videos, I could already get a sense of what this guy is all about. Basically loads of money, fast cars, properties, that's a trading lifestyle. And you can live like that too. Simply buy the 10 hour. Learn, plan, profit. Learn, plan, profit. Learn, plan, profit. Learn, plan, profit. The learn, plan, profit. Course, and you can learn how to live like this. It's only $360. Sounds fairly simple, right? Believe me, most of the people that I know are actually professional traders with trading education, like financial education, guys who work for stock exchanges and investment banks. I mean, they're overstressed, they're overworked, and they drive a five-year-old Audi, not the newest McLaren like Ricky does. It's simply not as easy as it looks. Of course, you can make money day trading like him, but making millions at a young age, day trading, starting from zero, that's super fishy. Now, to get to my point, I think Ricky does actually trade. He's like making live, trading videos where he's trading with $100,000 per day. And he himself has said that he consistently makes 1% profit each day. You go with 1% a day, 5% a week. That's trading with 100,000, yeah? So 1% profit, that means 1,000 per day. As we know, there are 253 trading days in a year. So if he's making 1% profit each of those days, that means he's making 253% profit per year. 
my goal on a weekly basis is 10 to 15%. And I've been doing this for years. I can tell you straight up, if that was true, the world's largest investment banks and hedge funds and stock exchanges would be running after this guy so he can make them money. Those results are simply ridiculous. In my past five years of trading, I think the best year ever was 2017. And I think I made like 27, 28% return over the course of the year. And I don't think I will replicate those results anytime soon because that for me was quite a, quite a big result actually. And so 253% Ricky, I'm super bearish on that. I don't think Ricky made his millions by day trading. This kind of lifestyle hasn't come from trading, but from selling the courses, maybe some properties, real estate, other things. Now, when Ricky was asked himself, why does a millionaire trader need to sell courses? He had a hard time answering the question. In three sentences or less, if you're a millionaire, why sell a course? Okay. Um... There was, there was never like, okay. Of course, that doesn't mean he's a scammer because technically he's not doing any scams. He's just selling a course, like every 10 seconds of every video. And if you think about it, he only needs to sell 2,770 courses for $361 each, and he's made a million. Basically, that's 0.3% of his subscribers that bring him a million. He's a great marketer, great salesman, cannot deny that. And if we just assume that great marketers have around two to 5% conversion rate, it's pretty clear that most of his money, most of his millions, most of this lifestyle has come from selling this course. It's a very basic principle. In his case, it's obviously working. As people are watching, people trust him. But the main reason why you're on his channel is so you would buy that Learn Plan Profit course. I think I've heard it about a thousand times for the past few days. So Ricky slithers on rank four on our snake oil chart. doing great then why bother selling court exactly the next guy we're going to be looking at is a real estate agent self-help motivator investor personal finance guru everything in between and i'm not saying that in a condescending way i really like graham's energy he's a successful guy but the question is can he teach you can he give you some practical knowledge about trading and i think the answer to that is 50 50. so the first thing you need to understand why graham may come across as fishy because he really is a salesman that's what the real estate business is all about. It's selling something to other people. In his case, he's selling houses to other people. And he was quite good at that, by the way. So the feeling never left me that he's trying to sell me something, even if that's not the case. I don't think he's trying to lure you into any courses or sell you something. He's pretty open about where he makes his money, where his money is coming from, how much he makes on YouTube. So in that regard, he's very transparent. Aside from the Photoshop broker thumbnails, Graham does have some solid advice about money management, saving money, personal finance and everything in between. And although his style is not as entertaining for me as his good buddy Andre's, he does offer a lot of common sense personal finance tips and it's catchy for people who just wanna make some extra money or maybe save some money that they already have, but they didn't know they have it. You can definitely learn something from Graham in the personal finance aspect. He can help you save money, understand how to think like an investor, but he's not talking about basics of trading. I keep going back to this, the basics of trading. What is a buy and sell? What kind of strategy do you need to have? And what you should be focusing on? Because most of his videos are actually concerning personal finance and real estate. So we'll give him a low snake oil rating, but we'll put him in the avoid category. No offense, Graham. Avoid only means regarding learning how to trade. If you dream of being a real estate agent, or maybe you just wanna save some money, you can watch away Graham's good choice. You know, I was thinking about something the other day. How cool would it be if you could just avoid going to finance schools and universities and just hire a professor who could teach you something for free? And you know, while I was thinking about it, I accidentally stumbled upon this video. If you really, really, really want to buy something, you're gonna find a way to buy it. And I decided to give it a look, and turns out this, sir, has a whole collection of these type of videos. Things like valuation approaches. Find market mistakes. You're almost home, right? So let's give the market mistakes. <laughs> valuation basics. The aspect of investing that always puzzles people is there are lots of investment strategies that seem to make money. Measuring risk. Fashion. 
we want to build on the concept of risk by going from risk aversion, which is what we talked about in the last set. Okay, I agree. Maybe not the most fun thing to watch, but in this case, the guy who's telling you this is exactly what I was asking for. A professor of finance at Stern School of Business at the New York University. And you know what? Sometimes the stuff you want to hear the least is the stuff that you need to hear the most. I mean, this guy's for real. His work speaks for itself. And just to get a better idea of why you should listen to him, he has a bachelor's degree in accounting, a master's degree in management, a master's degree in finance, and a PhD in finance. Just to put it in perspective, that's like 15 years of school for a regular person. And with his YouTube channel, he gives you the opportunity to study this stuff for free. That's absolutely amazing. You should definitely watch his videos if you want to understand more about stock trading, stock market valuation, how to think about companies or trading in general. If you're skeptical, no worries. You can just spend the $119,000 per year and have him teach you in person at the Stern Business School. Or just watch the vids, man. Seriously. Zero questions, no snake oil, pure education. Next up, we have Adam Koo. Now, this guy's basically like the Tony Robbins of Singapore. He's an entrepreneur, an author, a trainer, an executive chairman, Asian, human, man, the list is too long to name. But for me, he's another YouTuber who teaches stock trading strategies. And in my opinion, he's doing a pretty good job. Of course, the way I look at these videos, my experience is gonna be a little bit different because I know most of the things that he's talking about. But for you, I think he's doing a pretty good job explaining it simply and so that you could understand. I get the sense that he knows what he's talking about. He actually understands all the things that he's explaining. So that's pretty good. My biggest problem here is that I really like Adam's approach. The information is great, but of course, only lesson one is available from this stock trading course. Want to learn more? Adam's got you covered. Just buy the $800 Piranha Profit stock trading course. It's nothing bad. It's just the way it is. So this guy claims he was a millionaire by the age of 26. He's 46 now, so he's lived the last 20 years as a millionaire. The question just perplexes me. Why does a millionaire need to sell courses? Exactly. When you have other businesses that bring you millions. It only makes sense if selling courses is actually the million dollar business. And perhaps he was selling some courses before YouTube, just differently. Whichever way you look at it, this course stuff is super shady. Because I'll tell you something. The greatest investors don't have the time to make YouTube videos and sell courses. You ever heard Warren Buffett sell courses or Peter Lynch selling courses on YouTube? Of course not. Those guys are busy beating the market and making money, not regurgitating basic information in a different package and then putting a weird name on it and then selling it to the public. And this is not a jab at Adam. This is just to make you think twice about spending $800 on something that you can Google absolutely for free. Adam, you're a great educator, but stop selling courses. You don't need it if you're a millionaire. And Adam will get a snake oil rating of two. You've probably seen these guys, and I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Just to share my thoughts about them. So we have Jeff Bishop and Jason Bond, real name Jason Kovalik. And I'm just gonna lump these two together because they run the same company, Raging Bull, and because they're the same person in a different body. And this company is all about flexing and sloganeering and making every single one of you rich, millionaire, profits, money. By the way, cigars on a plane? What is this, the 1970s? So these guys claim that they will make you rich, but I just wanna share my two cents. You won't get rich and you won't even get back the 3000 or more dollars you spent on their courses. Listen, I've been following this scheme for a while now, and basically they're a team of professional con artists who present themselves as trading gurus, but they only have one objective. They wanna pull you into this scheme by selling you ridiculously priced, overpriced, unnecessary, questionable courses. Look, there's seven different guys in this team of experts that they have. There used to be a woman as well, but I'll get to that in a second. And each of these experts offer multiple courses. Monday Movers, Booster Reporter, Dollar Race, Option Profit Accelerator, Weekend Wiretaps, Profit Prism. Again, what are these? I especially like Dark Pool Profits. Now, 
21 courses in total, and they cost a ridiculous amount of money. But hey, someone needs to pay for Jeff's private jet rental. Am I right, Jeff? Yes. And of course, as honest educators, these guys just want to help you out. That's why the courses renew automatically, so you never miss the latest, the greatest, the never before trading secrets. Just give me a break. Now, maybe this could just be my BS radar going off, and there really are some of the best traders anywhere. Seriously, anywhere? Show me a guy who's actually made money by trading and calls himself the best trader anywhere. I don't think there is a person like that, except of course, the CEO of this shady business. Now, the reason why these folks are not in prison, because again, technically they aren't breaking any laws. There is a risk disclaimer with all the courses, but the refund policy is a joke. Of course, I didn't want to pay for Jason Kovalik's mortgage, so I didn't buy any of those courses. But there's literally hundreds of complaints online about the refunds. I guess you could say these victims got what they paid for. And yeah, to put the final nail in the coffin, there used to be a woman called Petra Hess on this expert team. But turns out, she's retired, she's not a trader anymore. What a truly sad day for the markets when that happened. Except, she's a convicted felon and was recently arrested for alleged embezzlement and fraud in Canada. Raging Bull, of course, refused to comment and swiftly retired her. I'm going on way too long here, but I've been wanting to get this off my chest. There is nothing worth your time here. There's no proof that any of these hucksters have made any money ever, apart from selling these overpriced, ridiculous courses. Snake oil levels should be 10 here, but we can only go to five. So all seven of them, Kyle Dennis, Jeff Williams, Nathan Bear, Ben Sturgill, Dave Lucas, Jason Kovalik, and of course the CEO, Jeff Bishop, all of those guys should be avoided. Next up, we have this shady looking fella right here. His channel is called Financial Education. Sounds promising, right? Basically, if Adam Koo is a millionaire, an author, a public speaker, an entrepreneur, also happens to have a YouTube channel for teaching something and selling some courses, then this guy, Jeremy, is basically the discounted version, minus the entrepreneur part and everything else part. So if Adam does have some sort of background in business and, you know, making money, then this guy seems to me like just another salesman covering up his course selling business with nice educational investing YouTube videos. You know what? I'll show you. This is you and this is where you want to be. And in between, there is a line. A line that consists of patience, time, learning, mistakes, and discipline. Now, what these guys are offering are shortcuts. Basically, you course being a trader. Doesn't happen like that. Cannot go here if you haven't completed these steps. Patience, you need time, you need learning, you need mistakes, practice, discipline. Maybe then, just maybe you will be a trader. I want you guys to understand that there are no shortcuts to this, no secrets, especially not from random YouTube salesmen. As you can tell, I'm getting pretty pissed off at this point. I mean, this guy just picks stocks that are trending up and acts like he's a genius. And he wants to trick you into thinking that his 9,000 per year course will make you a trader? Or is this $1,200 course that will make you a trader? It's not happening. All this stuff can be learned for free. You can buy books on investing for $100 and spend the rest of that $9,000 actually buying stocks, you know, investing in ETFs, things along those lines. No offense, Jeremy, your channel may be some sort of a financial education, but be honest, please be honest. The reason you make videos is because you wanna make money. And the best way that you can make money is by luring people into buying your course. And before any of you criticize me, I've never sold any courses. My app where people can actually learn to trade it's totally free, it always has been. It's got over 2 million downloads, people that can actually learn trading there, and I haven't even asked them for a single cent, not even collected a single email. You make up your own mind. I think financial education is snake oil at its finest, but it's not shoved in your face as much as the previous team of experts did. So snake oil rank will be at number four. Now, I have one more guy on my hit list, and he's none other than Ross from Warrior Trading, this funny looking guy. His channel says, learn to trade, live your dream. And this guy offers some truly amazing knowledge about trading, such as how to set up a simple day trading station for penny stocks. Very good for beginners, right? Definitely a big fan of keeping it simple. How to find the best entire and exit positions. 
and how to use risk management principles. He will also tell you why you need an edge. And of course, all this ties into his gap and go and end of the day squeeze strategies. Now, to be totally honest with you guys, I'm not sure I want to see what this guy's end of the day squeeze looks like, but okay, I'll do it for you. It's probably under one of these links. Don't really feel like visiting his website, but got to do it for the video, right? So what are you trading? Let's look at the success stories. I mean, student success stories. Ah, of course, some articles. Not like a real unedited, unfiltered comments section where people can leave their feedback. Just a couple of pre-made articles, vague statements about success, with no actual proof. I'm not buying it, but I get the idea. Just set up a couple of screens behind you, just like I have here, and you look professional. Somebody's gotta believe it, right? Ah, oh, educational programs, courses, of course. How surprising. Although I'm not really sure I wanna take some course from a guy who has basic spelling mistakes, and as far as I know, he's a native speaker. So I can become a warrior starter or a warrior pro. The starter is $999 per year, and the pro is $6,000 for one year's access. I can tell you, listen, I'm done with this video. This is the biggest waste of time you could ever imagine. All these courses, they're simply ridiculous. How come a PhD finance teacher can teach you for free on YouTube, and this yogi is charging you $6,000 for some snake oil? That's just beyond me. It's a five, do not waste your time. I really don't want you to think that I'm anti-courses or anti-learning or anti-teaching. So I did my best to find the perfect guy to close this video with. I had two prerequisites. I wanted someone that does sell courses and I want someone who's qualified to sell them. And I found this channel, Value Investing with Sven Carlin, PhD, just like Oswald over there. Now, some of the key details about this guy. His PhD was for creating a risk model for investing in emerging markets. He's been investing since 2002. He's been an assistant finance professor at the Amsterdam School of Business. And by the way, also, he's been a researcher at Bloomberg. And this guy, surprisingly, does offer some courses. It costs $422 to apply for his stock market research platform. That's per year. In a nutshell, an in-depth stock analysis focused on where others don't look. You can get full access to his portfolios, his analysis. I mean, his YouTube channel is simply amazing. I've been watching his videos for a while now, actually. I just didn't know that he also sells courses. So that was quite surprising. But to be honest, if you want to buy a course, if the money is like pressuring your pocket, if you have nowhere to spend it, and you simply want to buy some trading course to make you feel better about it, this guy, Sven Carlin, is who you should buy it from. Just think about it, it costs $60 more compared to Ricky's course, who's basically like day trading millionaire, Arizona's millionaire, the straight up flexing YouTuber. This guy's for real, he's a PhD, you should definitely listen to him. He's going together with Oswat in the educational section and a snake oil ranking of zero. So take a look at the chart, guys. I don't know any of these guys. This is just my opinion and maybe I'm wrong on them. Who knows? But I see maybe two or three that you should seriously consider watching. That would be Oswat and Swen and maybe some Rainer. And okay, you can watch all of these guys. I mean, Graham's good for real estate and saving. Andre is just funny and entertaining. Adam's a millionaire selling some courses, teaching you some stuff for free. And these guys, obviously, I like them. So, and these guys, yeah. Skip it, avoid it, burn it with fire. Close your windows, hide your wife, hide your children. Just don't watch them avoid their courses. Just joking. Just leave them alone. They're doing their thing. Somebody will buy the course. And as you can see, we have a lot of free space left there. So if you want to find out more about some certain YouTube trading gurus or maybe your favorite YouTuber who also happens to be selling courses or trading, I can do some investigation if you want it. Just leave it down in the comments. On a final note, remember, people who make money don't make courses, they make money. And of course, now you've been waiting for my secret. So this is my secret, guys. I don't have flashy supercars, running McLarens. All I have is this bike. Saving the planet, cycling everywhere, and having a grand old time while at it. Stay safe, guys. Finance Illustrated, we are out.